you are watching electrical engineering lectures channel for more videos please do like subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest notifications welcome to another video in the last video i have given an in depth concept of timers how they work what are the advantages of using timers and controllers over delay macros and how to calculate the timings for the timers and the counters in this video i am going to show you how to use the timers in order to perform a specific function for example in this program i am going to make a stopwatch by using an internal timers you will find a lot of program in which the people used to blink an led using the timers so, so i am going to do a different thing where i'll be mimic a function of stopwatch by using the internal timers so let us begin with our c program in the pixi compiler as you have already known that this is the pixi interface in which the first command will always be to include the device header file in my case i am using 16fa77a as in the last video i have told you that the pic 16 fa 77 a has three timers timer 0 timer 1 and timer 2 then comes the fuses followed by hash use delay clock and i am using 20 megahertz oscillator for this program and then this is a new command for the rs232 protocol or the uart and how to use this command in the parenthesis you will write the baud rate which in my case is 9600 transmit pin will be c6 of pic 16f a77a and the receiving pin will be c7 then comes to include the lcd dot c then comes a definition of a constant which is ints per second which is 152 so i'll talk about this constant later now moving on to another command this is the interrupt service routine isr again i'll skip this section now comes the void main which is our main function in my main function i have initialized the lcd and then i set the timer 0 to 0 that is i'll start my timer 0 from 0 and it will start counting from 0 to its maximum value which is in my case is 255 as the timer 0 in pic 16 fa77a is 8 bit timer so it will count up to 255 and then it rolls over to 0 again this is the command to set up a timer in pic c then comes another command of pic c which is set up underscore counters and in parenthesis we have two arguments that is that are rtcc internal and rtcc dev 128 what does this command means and do it will set up a counter that is it will take the internal clock as the clock reference reference or the frequency reference and the another command is the 128 which is the prescaler in my case you can use uh, another values between 1 to 256 whatever you like but i will use the 256 later then comes the interrupt that is enable underscore interrupts int rtcc int rtcc is used for the timer 0 or you can also use the timer 0 instead of rtcc and this command is used to inter enable the interrupt of timer 0 whenever the timer 0 overflows it will generate an interrupt so if you enable the interrupt in the software it will execute the interrupt service routine and this is used to enable the interrupts of all types so once the interrupt is enabled it will not disable the interrupt until you use the disable interrupt whenever you like to disable the particular interrupt so this is my infinite loop in which what i am doing is that i will display a command on uart 
which is universal asynchronous receiver transmitter that press any key to begin whenever you press a key to begin then comes the get c this is again a built-in function of pick c and this function waits for a character to come in over the rs232 receive pin and returns the character since i am getting the input over the rs232 therefore i have to use the get c command so whenever this command gets an input then it will execute the another command otherwise it will remain and wait for the character to come in so whenever it receives any character then comes the second equal to zero here i initialize the second to zero and set the timer to zero so that whenever you begin the stopwatch it will always start from zero then press any key to stop this is a command that will flash on the rs232 screen to stop the stopwatch whenever you stop the stopwatch it will again get the character and then displays the second how it displays the second now go back to the interrupt service routine so this is the syntax of the interrupt service routine it picks c which is hash int underscore rtcc this is the specific function name for the interrupt of timer zero then comes the main function definition which is void clock underscore isr and that definition what i am doing is that this is my int underscore count which is equal to int per second in this case int per second is 152 so it will decrement the value from 152 and whenever it reaches the value of zero it will increment the seconds in other words you can say that the timer will overflow 152 times for one second now how this is 152 for this you have to refer to my previous presentation in which i have given the formula for the count increment which is equal to 4 multiplied by prescaler multiply by 256 minus count over f oscillator in this case i have selected prescaler of 128 and the initial count equal to 0 and the f oscillator is frequency of oscillator is 12, 20 megahertz so 4 multiply by 128 multiply by 256 divided by 20 megahertz so this is equal to 6.5 milliseconds so this timer will overflow after 6.5 milliseconds and after 152 overflows it will reach one second so if you multiply it with 152 it is almost equal to one second so in one second it will execute 152 overflows so that's why that's why i've selected ints per second equal to 152 so after 152 overflows the second will be incremented to one again the timer rolls over and again the second will be incremented and this is how it will function as a stopwatch so let us play the simulation in order to understand the functionality of this program i've built the schematic already in which i've attached a virtual terminal screen with the pic 16 f a double seven the receiver pin of the virtual terminal will be connected to the transmitter pin of the pic and the transmitter pin of the virtual connect uh, virtual terminal will be connected to the receiving pin pin of the pic microcontroller so let us start or play the simulation you can see a line on the virtual terminal which says that press any key to begin you can also see the timer running over here so i will press a key 
at 30. Note here. Here you go. Now you can see that it is written press any key to stop. So I will press the key at 40. So here you go. Exact 10 seconds. Again, I'll repeat the same process and I'll press the key at 50. and stop at 55 5 seconds so this is how you can use the timer to perform any function you want now what I'll be doing I will change the prescaler value from 128 to 256 so what it means that now the timer will take more time or even double the time to overflow. Again, use the formula 256 prescaler 256 initial count divided by 20 megahertz. So this time you can see that 13 millisecond is required to overflow and how many overflows are required for one second? Multiply by 76. 99 so if you are using 256 prescaler then after 76 overflows the second will be incremented to 1 so this is how you can change the timing of tick or your count of the timers by changing the prescaler values and also the oscillator frequency so let us begin build this program again now play the simulation again I'll press the key at 5 and I'll stop at 15. Keep an eye on this timing. Here you go, exact 10 seconds. So in this tutorial, we have seen that how to use the internal timers to perform different timing functionalities. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. I have given the links where you can download the C source file, hex file and the Proteus simulation file in the description link. Thank you for watching.